What is emotional abuse? Emotional abuse is a non-physical behavior that aims to control, punish, demand, or isolate another person. According to Beverly Engel, a licensed marriage and family therapist in Los Luzi, California, an author of several books including The Emotional Abuse of Relationship. But emotional abuse can happen in many kinds of relationships, not just romantic ones, at Sarah Hartree, a licensed and dependent clinical social worker in Washington, D.C., and the director of the Dorm D.C., a supporter center for the young adults. It most often happens in a relationship that's ongoing, she says, that might be a parent and child, a boss and employee, a teacher, coach, or student. Now, let's get these four signs of emotional abuse. Consider subscribing and hit the like button. Number one, humiliation. An abuser may constantly humiliate someone else, alone or in front of other people, says Eagle. They may laugh at the victim, call them names, make faces, or roll their eyes when the victim talks. They may also criticize everything the victim does in a non-destructive way, adds Dr. Carr. Constant humiliation can make someone feel self-conscious and unsure about themselves and what they say. Number 2. Emotional Blackmail Emotional blackmail is when the abuser threatens to withhold something from the victim unless the victim gives in to the demands. Examples The experts say include demands like, If you don't have sex with me in the way I want, I'll go find it somewhere else. Second, if you don't want what I want, I'm going to get a divorce. Third, I'll never be the same if you're not my life. And number four, lastly, I'll kill myself if you don't go outside with me. Number three, gaslighting. Gaslighting is when someone intentionally manipulates another person into questioning or disbelieving their own thoughts or reality. Often over an extended period of time, the abuser may create constant conflict or drama and make the other person feel as though they are fault for the tension that exists in the relationship. As a result, the victim often develops a dependence on the perpetrator and loses confidence, self-esteem, and mental stability. And number four, lastly, invasion of property. Really clear emotional abuse is when someone tries to control another person through possessions, says Dr. Carr. The abuser may go through the other person's possessions of their phone. They may also dare take control of their money or hold certain items, even pets, hostage. Plus, have you considered subscribing? Subscribe right now and like the button of this video. Hopefully, have a good night or day. Goodbye, and see you soon.